Hey everyone, this is Vishwanath Pratap Singh and our today's greedy problem is dragons. Okay, so here, I, here is the problem statement. Okay, so according to this problem, let's say you are a soldier and you have to fight with some end dragons. Okay, and the dragons is having some health X. Okay, the dragons is having some health, health some X and your health is some OS okay and if you are able to delete the sorry if you are able to defeat the dragon okay so you will get the bonus of some strength of Y okay means if you will defeat an exam uh, defeat and dragon uh, let's say try the health of the dragon is one and the health of your health is 2 okay so you are able to defeat the dragon and then you will because your health is greater than this dragon's health so you are able to defeat it okay and then you will get the bonus of which is uh, which is with the with that dragon okay and that health that bonus health strength will be added to the your health okay so eventually your health will increase okay so this was our problem and here is our input type that how we have to input in this okay the first line contains the two separate integers that is s and n here s is the strength of the soldier and n is the number of dragons and the number of owners also okay then here in n separated integers here is x and y whereas x is the dragon's strength and y is the bonus of for defeating that dragon okay if a single line print says yes, i means if you are able to defeat all those end dragons okay so what you have to do you have to print yes and if you are even not you're not even able to single only single dragon if you are not able to defeat that only a single dragon so you just have to print no okay so here is some inputs okay so this is our strength 2 and here is our the number of dragons 2 okay so first we have entered the health of the first dragon and then there is a bonus associated with that dragon and after that there is also a health of the dragon okay then after that there is a bonus associated with that health uh, or with that dragon which we will be get after defeating it okay so let's start firstly with the first dragon okay so our health is 2 okay and the dragon's health is 1 so here you can see that here you can easily see that the dragon's health is less than our health okay so we will simply what so he is able to defeat the first dragon okay so now what he have to do he has just have to increase his health okay he just have to increase his health by 99 so what will be the health of his, this person his health will be 101 now okay and after that we will move to the next dragon because now our health is 101 so we will compare our health with the next dragon and here we can see that the dragon that dragon's health is less okay that dragon's health is less and so we just have defeated and we have added this health to this and because we have delete, delete sorry we have defeated all the dragons so we just simply have to print yes so, and in the next input you can see that if we are having some health 10 and the number of dragons is 1 and the dragon's health is 100 and bonus is 100 okay because here we defeat because our health is 10 and that is 10 times less than any dragon this dragon this given health of the dragon okay so we just have to print simply print no here okay and here is what you have to do okay so let's say move to the solution but there is a single problem okay let me explain it the if we are having this much input okay if we are having this input that 5 is the health of ours okay and 10 is the number of dragons okay so when we will compare our health 
with the dragon cell the first dragon cell so what we will see that here the dragon cell is less i mean sorry the dragon cell is very much greater than the uh, than our health okay the soldier's health and you know, on the first comparison it will exit that loop okay it won't be able to create so it will exit that loop if we are using some loop kind of thing okay so here but the answer so and then we will what, what, what we will print we can simply print no because we are not able to do that i mean we are not able to defeat that but the answer of this question this input is yes why yes because what we have done before doing this what we have to do that we have to sort this whole thing okay and why we have to sort because here is four which is greater which is uh, here is four which is the health of the second dragon which is less than the our dragon i mean which is less than the our health okay so when we will compare with this we just have to increase take that input and we will i mean we will just add that bonus with our health and then we will compare to the next then we will compare to the next then we will and by adding that so it this is possible this is one of the possibility that we are able to defeat all the dragons by doing this okay if it is in the sorted manner sorry for this voice friends okay so this was the type so for sorting it we can simply use the array method and we can use array and we can also use maps okay we can also use maps and so here i am using map and i will also tell you how to do the with do it with the that one with the arrays okay so here is what i have already made the solution okay so this is our solution and firstly i have included all the header files in the c++ okay then using namespace std then hash define here the hash this is the method how we use hash define actually hash define is used to short the short some already keyword defined keywords okay short the length of because as we th can see here that long is very really very lengthy to write okay so i have just stored this long property inside this double l okay ll so i can simply use it okay so in the main function i have just used the s which is the health strength of the soldier okay n is the number of dragons and here we are inputting the dragons health and sorry dragons not dragons health our health and dragons number okay so here in below we have taken two integers two long integers again okay which that is x and y here x is the strength of the dragon and y is what y is the strength uh, that is the bonus strength okay here we are using multi maps okay so actually in pre previous video i have already explained the what map and multi map is so if i will just simply sum up that thing so map is multi map is what multi map stores the key and value things i mean it, it is having two parts key and value and it it, it stores the keys in a sorted order and it can also have the keys value duplicates it means it can also store the duplicate key values okay so this was the map multi map and for it there could be some multiple keys so okay so that's why we have to use that and so we have to firstly take the input and this is the method how we used to take the input from the map this is we have initialized here mp map mp then we have run the loop for n times and then we have entered taken the value of the x and y that is the strength of the dragon first dragon and uh, strength of the this uh, strength bonus strength okay so here we are simply making inserting values like this okay here is insert function and then make pair make pair is used to making the pair of uh, keys and values okay then it will this insert function will simply insert it into the multi map okay here is x and y we 
inside this okay after that we have initialized a one more variable that is count to count the number of iterations you can say okay so what we have used here we have again used the for loop and actually before that i just wanted to say you that this map multi map is have already sorted the uh, sorted the uh, keys and values they have all, already sorted the x and y also okay so we don't have any kind of problem in, with this okay so there is map this is here we are using the maps iterator and we are initializing its value to the maps begin okay and then here we are using con giving it the condition that iterator should not be equal to the maps end okay and it will increase every for every turn okay so here is what if that else is mean it means the health of ours it means the soldier's health is greater than first it map i mean the first dragon health that is itr first is the dragon health okay so we, what we will do we will simply add the bonus health of that associated with that dragon to our health okay then here we will increase simply increase the count variable okay and then in else part what if that is condition is not true it means in else part it will go and it will simply count it okay and it will print take the count is equal to zero okay this was it and it will run again and again 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 okay so after that because when i s s is when the s is not greater than itr first uh, okay itr first means the dragon health so means that is the point where s cannot be greater than but with the other dragon health okay with the other dragon health which are after this dragon okay so that's why we have just used here count is equal to zero so if that count is is equal to zero at the last okay after doing all this if the count value is equal to zero so it will simply print that no otherwise it will print yes okay this was the method okay so simply we can see here for example what we had here is five and then ten dragons okay and we are having some inputs like let me see those inputs here are these inputs okay so with these input what we have to do just simply enter space one and then four space three enter five space one and our output is simply yes okay so here you can simply submit this problem to the uh, to the code forces okay here you can submit i have already submitted this problem act and this was my test cases i have already submitted the problem and the second way of solving this problem could be that firstly we have initialized here so simply if i will just delete all these things okay if i will just remove okay let the count be here i have just deleted all these things and if and i have taken here what if the if we will take here the uh, an array okay let's say an array x and which is having the strength of what so s of uh, let's say 10000 okay this is i think 1 lakh okay let's say it is having the strength i mean it is having the uh, this is array of 10000 elements okay then we are having some oh we can say i will actually yeah i think it is better for me to explain this in the next video thank you very much friends